Hi people, I'm uh, clearing the van out today, it's boxing day, and um, I'm just giving things a tidy out. And I brought the tool chest in. This is not, well, I don't normally carry this in the house, I leave it in the, in the van. Anything in here is uh, tools in here that you don't use all the time, you put them in the van if I need them. So I, there's a couple of trays on top, They're just full of bits of uh, nuts, bolts, screwdriver ends, little bits, that's a toilet seat, uh, nut, tightener upper, odd nuts, washers and uh, there's a gas box key. Things that you don't use every day but you I don't know where to find them if I need them. Bit of 10 milli rod, self tapping screws, all that sort of stuff. And this one, I keep odd drills. I've drills uh, kept in my drill box and all over the van. These, these are, most of these are ones that have become dull or have renewed. And I throw them in here because if you ever lose your best one, you can come in here and get another one. So anyway, that's the that's the top that's the top uh, lid. Then under that is the top tray. And in here there's all sorts of it. hammers, armor for the uh, SDS drill. No, that isn't for the SDS drill. That's for a normal chuck. That's an SDS bit. It's the chisel for one. No amount of cutters. Old pipe slices. Of course, this is the same. When I buy a new pipe slice, I throw the old ones in here. Because if you lose a new one, then you've got that one to come back to. That's a tap spanner. It comes in handy at times when you, you um, your basin spanner won't fit and you're struggling with uh, your, your drop jaw on. There's all sorts of little bits of things on this as well. Little fit on ends and you know. It's a tap tool, it's, it's worth having in, in your box. This is what I made up. This fits uh, the tap nuts. That fits half inch tap nuts. And on the other end, I've had welded um, a socket. So if the swan been really obstinate, I can pull on it a ratchet and if that doesn't move it, if the tap's stuck and that doesn't move it then it's not being moved, it's stopping the and the basin's coming out of the new basin and is the, uh, you know this tool don't you, the blank a stab saw for plasterboard some lead tools I just took the spanners, more grips, don't use them very often but they do have a use. Wire cutters, more pipe cutters, 10 millimeter, bar solder, iron spanners. Those are tools for the grinder. Taking wheels off, taking wheels. There's another drift. Another one well, that, that fits in the um, SDS drill and was on core drills. And then on the big side, we'll have to carry the camera over to this. Right, I'm going to bolt the chisels and there's these crowbars, floor bus, floor, floorboard lifters, dresser, lead dresser, this is a, what we call a Tupperware one, that's called a duck's back one, a duck's back Tupperware dresser. We've got Spur, Rothenburg, 
blow torches, might, cool power. Really, this is a box of rust, really, you know. It's just uh, in case I need it. I know I've always, if I can't find it in my van or to hand, I can go in here and find something that will come in useful. I've a couple of square tapes here. Uh, that's a joiner's tool. Immersion spanner. That's about it really. It's all junk. I'm just going to give it all a good tidy out now and put it back in the van and I know it's there. So it's a lot of weight though really. You know, I sometimes think, well, how much petrol is this costing me to carry this about all over the place? I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you later.